how to set up your race stream life the right way without using the pro version okay now this is going to be a full tutorial because i promised some of my subscribers that i was going to do a video specifically on this okay so bear with me as i share my screen and also before you start streaming or your recorded video for your silent live stream make sure that your video is well edited make sure you have your original video ready make sure you have a title for the for the life and also a short description because that can also boost your views and all that okay so now for the sake of this uh, tutorial i'm going to go ahead and share my screen and if you are new here i am angela the face behind this channel and i am always excited about bringing you updates growth uh youtube growth tips you know share my experiences with you all and you know just all about creating inspiring and growing so today like i said i'm going to be showing you all how to do your silent live stream using restream i o the right way and this version i'm going to show you you actually don't need to have any uh pro version. you don't have to be subscribed to restream to use this okay so right now i'm sharing my screen and you're just going to go to your uh, web browser and type restream io right and then when you when you're there so it's going to log me in automatically because uh, i am already signed in of course and if you are using the free version you would see close to your name here right here you will see that it's showing you free okay but in my case i'm using the paid version but trust me this uh tutorial i'm showing you you can also use it uh for the free version and stream your videos for up to 10 hours okay and the only thing is that the red stream logo is going to be on your on your video or on your live which is also not a problem so what you do once you are you are logged in if you are creating a new account after it when you when you type in restream i on your web browser it's going to show and you click on the link it's going to show you um to log in or create an account with your google account or with an email so you can go ahead and use your google account and then your account is already created it doesn't take much and then a window is going to open up for you asking you if you want to you know subscribe for monthly payment or you want to go ahead and start using the free version go ahead and tap on the free version and boom you are in and then you should have a screen that looks like this so when you want to start your streaming you just go ahead and tap on a new stream and then what you are going to do is enter into the race stream studio okay i will try to be slow so that you all can catch up so race stream studio you, you click on that okay and make sure the video you want to use is already saved on your computer on your laptop or on your phone if you are going to be using your phone or your computer to stream make sure you have everything saved up on the device that you want to use okay so now you are going to go here and go to enter studio okay you enter studio so once you are inside the studio what you are going to do is make sure you mute okay you mute yourself and then you also close the camera okay once you have done that now you are going to go over here where it says add scene okay you go here tap on add scene and choose media mm -hmm. so now what type of media do you want to bring on here of course it's a video so you tap on the video here i already have some videos that are uploaded but i'm not going to be using any of these because i want to show you the full step so let's assume we don't have any videos here so you are going to go over here and tap on upload a video okay once you upload a video, go to where, wherever you saved your video and then tap on it. And then you see 
the video is already here uploading, okay? And another thing to take note uh, for your videos, make sure your videos is like two minutes long, two minutes. If you are streaming uh, a video that is just like 10 seconds long or 30 seconds long, you know, it's going to be difficult for you to accumulate those uh, watch hours, okay? The longer the video, the better. So about two minutes, three minutes in between there is perfect to use for this purpose, okay? So now my video is on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the video. So you see, the video is right here already on my, on my screen, okay? So now, important thing to notice, okay? To take note of. Make sure you are using the portrait orientation, which is here. Okay, make sure you have set up your life to be portrait orientation. Okay, and then you are going to go over here and choose spotlight. Choose spotlight so that this thing here will go away. Okay, I don't know if you are seeing it. So you tap on this one. So you see, this is how it's supposed to look like. Okay, so now once this is done, you are going to make sure that. The most important thing that you need to do is this place here, loop video, okay? So I think this is the challenge most people are having because they think because they are using the free version, they don't have this option. So if you go, if you upload your video step by step, just the way I have showed you here, you should be able to see this loop option, even if you are also, even if you are using your phone, you can still see this use a uh, loop option, make sure you Click on that. Make sure you have chosen this loop option because otherwise the whole process is for nothing because your video is just going to stop streaming after two minutes or three minutes, depending on how long your video is. Okay. So once that's done, you have to go over here and make sure that you have connected your channels. Okay. So one of the things that is also good with uh, Restream is you can connect different accounts. You see Facebook here, you see Twitter, you see Twitch, okay? But for the sake of this tutorial, we are based basing this tutorial on YouTube, okay? So you will just go ahead and choose your channel, okay? Or connect your channel, okay? So once you have done that, you click save, or here you can go ahead and do your titles, See, put your title there, put a short description there, okay? So next, and then you save it, okay? So now, either you choose to schedule your, your, your life or you go live immediately. If you want to schedule your life, you still go ahead and add your title, your description, the date and the time you want your video to start streaming. And here you even have your option to upload a thumbnail, which is very, very nice, yeah? So basically, this is, that's it, okay? You don't need too much. So it doesn't matter if you are using the pro version of Restream IO or if you are using the free version. Once you are able to follow this tutorial step by step, you should be able so find this loop option, yeah, and stream your videos. Now, in case you are new to Restream IO, in case you are new to Restream IO and you don't really understand much about it, I have created a video where I answered most of the frequently asked questions. You will find that video on my Restream IO playlist. And I will also put it at the end of this video um, as part of the end screen, okay? So basically, um, that's it. If you found value from this video, kindly subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share so that other people will also benefit from this video and learn. Basic, because that's all uh, this video is about, to teach you or to you know inspire you or and to support you all in your YouTube journey, okay? So that's it. If you have any more questions, kindly drop it in the comment section and I will be very happy to answer those questions. And after trying this upload method, 
and it worked for you. Also come back to this video and share your testimony so that other people can understand and believe that yes, the, you can actually use your free uh, Restream IO account to upload videos and stream for hours. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.